We're going to look at data science and machine learning with Pipeline Pilot. We want to build a predictive model of whether certain food products will become infected with certain bacteria. This is done by using logistic regression analysis. We can jumpstart the process by searching the Pipeline Pilot knowledge base. This consists of example protocols which do a particular activity. We simply search for logistic and see that there are several hits. We open one of the examples and run it to see what it does. The analysis only takes six seconds and the results appear in the browser. We explore the results, the model, including test statistics for each of the factors and overall R squared, and the rock and enrichment plots. This is just what we need. We steal the code from the example by simply copying and pasting the components into a new protocol. This is visual programming. We get rid of the sticky notes as they are no longer appropriate. In order to make this calculation work for our data, we simply use the parameters on the components. First, we change the reader component to read our data set. We want to have a quick look at our data to see if it needs cleaning, which is done by the component after the reader. So we halt the protocol at this second component and put a watch window onto the reader. We can then run the protocol and page through the data. It all looks okay. Since the data doesn't require cleaning, we delete that component. We also decide at this point to skip the usual validation procedure involving splitting the data into training and test sets. We know from the paper that the model is a good one, so we want to proceed directly to building the final model, which is always done from the entire data set. Now we can configure the parameters of the learner component. We give the model a name, tell the learner what properties contain the X and Y variables, and choose a special bias reduced algorithm needed because this data set splits perfectly into two classes. For this model, the X or input variables are the pH of the sample and the water activity AW. It only takes three seconds to build the model and we can see that the results are excellent. This model is a keeper. We can see it as a new component, a PSTAF logistic model component on our user tab. In the help text of the components, we can see all of the statistics and validation results as we did in the, uh, in the model building report. Now, in order to run this new model component, we simply need to feed it with pH and water activity values. We feed in one single set of values, and then we drag and drop the model, and we grab a viewer component to display the results again in a browser. The results give a number, and the number is the probability of the sample being infected. With just a little bit more work, we can make a nicer web interface to run the model. This can be accessed from the Pipeline Pilot web port. Here we see the web user interface, which gives the user some text boxes to enter the pH and water activity values. And it gives another text box for displaying the model prediction. At the bottom is an infographic suggesting what the probability bands are and when you should start to move. This is a very simple user interface, but more complex ones are possible.